So I'm working on the collusion negative process right now. And after I prepared my second batch of albumen, I figured I'm gonna clean lots of glass plates, right? So I wanted to buy like this kind of clamps where I can put my glass plates in to clean them to make my life easier. I searched the internet and found some solution that looked quite okay, but I was looking for something better, so, but I was not sure what to get. After looking for a solution on YouTube, I found a video from Adam Savage. He built a really fantastic, wonderful, I don't have the right words for that, Ambrotype clamp for Gary Oldman. Some of you guys may not know, but Gary Oldman is also one of us. He went also down the rabbit hole to learn the wet plate process. Mr. Oldman, if you see this, I really would love to portray you sometimes on a metal plate. If this is something you would be interested to do, please let me know how I can reach you and I will figure something out. After seeing this great tool from Adam Savage, I knew I wanted to have something like that. I was thinking to build a wooden one as well, but working on so many things, I decided to 3D print the one. As you saw, I designed everything in Tinkercut the front, the back and also the middle parts. I had M10 threaded rods and nuts at home and used them for the build. You can also use a single M10 threaded rod and two 10mm metal bars or beams if you want. After many hours the prints were finished and I could remove all the supports. That's like one of my favorite sounds when I finish a print, right? So now it's time to put everything together. Here are the rods, the nuts and now I push the nuts into the prints and hopefully they fit. So far so good. And now I screw in the rods into the nuts so that they are fixed. As said before you could also use metal pipes and glue them in instead of the rods. Now I take the center threaded rod and screw the nuts together so they don't move anymore. You can glue them as well, but I think screwing is more than enough. Now you push in the threaded rod into the back part. Now you push the center part onto the rods. This may be a very tight fit, but I will show you later how you deal with that. As last step you push the front part onto the rods. This is also a tight fit at the beginning. As said at the end I will show you how you deal with that. Yeah, I forgot to put the nut in so let's do that. Yes, that's a perfect fit. Now you screw in the center rod into the nut. And again you screw two nuts together until they are fixed. To finish things up, I will just push the handle on it. And now when I start to turn the handle, the clamp starts moving, but only in one direction because I made a design mistake. Let's fix that. To fix that, I need to limit the linear movement of the rear nut. So it pushes the front element back when you want to open the clamp. For that, I designed two solutions. One for my build, where I glue the part to my existing print. That saves me about eight hours of printing and then integrated second solution for you guys that looks much nicer. This is my solution that I glued to the print and I designed two parts so I can remove the limiter. With that I can remove the rod much easier to use a longer one for example. And that's the place where I will glue it to the print. If you glue something together it's always a good idea to roughen it up with sandpaper. To create a strong bond, I always love to use this two component epoxy glue. I used it many times and it worked out every single time. So the next day I put in the limiter. And now when I turn the handle to open the clamp, the nuts push against the limiter and push the front part away from the back part. I also designed a second handle because the first one was too big. 
To make the threaded rods move smoother, I use these BVEX beans. I avoided to use any oils because this would be really bad for the glass plates if it comes in contact with them, so the BVEX is really perfect for it. As said before, for the two other rods, you don't have to use threaded rods, just use full metal ones or pipes. This makes movement for sure much easier. But that was the thing I had at home and I just wanted to use them. So let's see how it works out. I would say that looks like a big success. What do you think? Let's test it with a glass plate. It holds it perfectly together, just like I imagined, ready for cleaning. And it opens also very easily. Let's do the first test with my lazy cleaning technique. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Here you have it. My self-designed made 3D printable glass clamp wet plate cleaning tool, whatever you want to call it. Inspired by the wonderful Adam Savage. Thanks a lot for making your video, for inspiring me to make something uh, that's maybe more easy to build for other people as well. I really like your wooden uh, construction much more. But this does the job as well uh, and I will give to you uh, guys these uh, 3D printed uh, designs from me for free. I will link down in the description so you can build them. Uh, you can build this glass plate clamp cleaner by yourself. Uh, yeah, if you want to support me, you can do that on Patreon or here. There are many ways. I will link everything down below. Uh, what else? Yeah, thanks a lot to my Patreons uh, for supporting me for so much time. Uh, and the plates I made for you, the connected series, uh, they are on the way to you guys. I brought them yesterday to the post office, so they should be with you guys pretty soon. Uh, just the one to Singapore, that's gonna take a little bit longer because the text papers I had to read you, I don't know, but I'll do that today in the evening and we'll send them out tomorrow. So hopefully this uh, goes pretty soon to you. Uh, this arrives pretty soon to you too. Yeah, and that's it. What should I say? Enjoy and as always, I'll be back guys.